Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Sabansi. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And today, we got a show here for you guys uh, that you definitely want to stick around for. But before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Now, as you guys know, the NBA draft took place a day or two ago. A lot of excitement, exciting things have been happening. Uh, players, Victor Wembanyama. I think went number one, a few other players. I don't remember the order that they went in, but a lot of people were talking about it. A lot of people were excited. And usually that's how it is around the NBA draft. Whenever the NBA draft rolls around, there's always this excitement to see the new crop of young players coming into the NBA and seeing which one of these guys is going to go on to leave an indelible mark uh, on the league, right? So this is, this is standard procedure. It always happens. And usually when the NBA draft is being conducted, various sports platforms cover the spectacle, cover the event. And one of them that covers it is of course the worldwide leader in sports ESPN, right? And on this particular occasion, they sent out a bevy of um, analysts. Brian Winhorse, excuse me, Brian Winhorse was there, but I believe the anchor on this particular show for ESPN was one Malika Andrews. So while the draft was ongoing, you know they were talking about various prospects, blah 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 blah. Malika Andrews took it upon herself to dig up some of the dirt on uh, Brandon Miller, if I'm not mistaken, that's the young uh, gentleman's name, yeah, Brandon Miller. And she decided to put this out there on national TV to basically put a question mark on his character as he's being drafted into the NBA. So what we want to do is want to play, want to quickly play what she had to say here and I'm going to continue, continue on with the show. Take a listen to Malika um, Andrews' comments. His name did surface in court testimony involving a case where his former teammate and another man, they've been indicted for capital murder in the fatal of 23-year-old Jamia Harris in January. The University of Alabama has described Miller as a cooperating witness. How is this factoring, if at all, into how teams are evaluating him? So you heard her comments. Well, apparently, apparently these comments drew a, 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 a tsunami of criticism from all over the internet towards her. And I'm just going to read from one article. There's so many. I'm going to read uh, from Outkick. So I'll start with the headline. Malika Andrews ripped for discussing Brandon Miller's driving a bleep to an alleged bleep. Twitter was not happy with Malika Andrews for discussing Brandon Miller's drama off the court during the NBA draft. The former Alabama star went second overall Thursday night to the Charlotte Hornets. And the world is apparently supposed to pretend he never drove a vehicle carrying a you-know-what later allegedly used to you-know-what a person. Former Alabama basketball player Darius Miles and his friend Michael Lynn Davis are facing bleep charge after a bleep left single mother Jamae Jonah Harris bleep. The defense has been trying to claim it was self-defense. Uh, the article then goes on. Malika Andrews criticized for bringing up Brandon Miller's off-the-court drama. Andrews brought up the situation during the draft and noted Miller was described as co a cooperative witness. Well, that didn't sit well with Twitter. One person said, death taxes and Malika Andrews bringing up a case during an NBA draft. Another person said, Malika Andrews went when a draft prospect has family trauma, legal problems. Another person, Malika Andrews, whenever it looks like black men are enjoying themselves. <laughs> Malika Andrews, when it's time to ruin a man's biggest day of his life. And then some other people went on and on uh, and on, right? And as a matter of fact, some people contacted me, some of our viewers contacted me on um, uh, social media and asked me to talk about this topic. So that's exactly um, what I'm going to do here. You know, funny enough, while doing some research for this topic, I was actually combing through YouTube looking for the video when Malika Andrews commented on Dana White. I was searching all over for it. Maybe you guys will find it. If you guys can find the video of Malika Andrews commenting on Dana White, you know, the, situ the situation that he had with his wife. If you guys can find that video, please just link it in the description because I couldn't find it. I mean, if, you, if you're lucky to find one, that'd be great because I've never seen it. I've never seen this video of her, of her talking about Dana White. I never saw it. Here's my issue. 
with Malika Andrews and the issue I believe a lot of people have with Malika. I'm not going to sit up here and twerk it up for nobody. I'm going to say exactly what I think. If it comes off a certain way, it comes off a certain way. Our audience know exactly where we are. Our audience know that we're not race baiters and they, they know this fully well. But in this particular situation, I'm going to call it exactly how I see it. First of all, here's the thing. I think there are two things at play. Number one, Malika Andrews has zero respect for men. That's number one. But number two, I believe she predominantly has zero respect for black men, no matter what they do. You could be a basketball player. You can be the garbage man. You can be a mailman. You could be an accountant. You could be a lawyer. You could be an analyst on TV. You could be, you could be a professional athlete. You could be a president. It doesn't matter. She has absolutely zero respect for any black like, at all. This was exhibited. Just imagine when a lady who I don't believe is 30 years old is around that age goes up on national television and starts talking to Stephen A. Smith, who I believe is in his 50s, talking to him on his own show like as if he's some little child. Like as if he's some little kid. The way she was talking to Stephen A. Smith, it was like she was talking to one of her little nephews or her little nieces or little cousins. It was that embarrassing. But then the question was, why does she feel so comfortable Talking to Stephen A. Smith that way. My 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 honest take is this. I think Malika Andrews has absolutely zero respect for black men. And I think she has something against black. This is what I believe. And I'm, then I'm not the only one that feels that way. And if anybody is a Malika Andrews supporter and feels otherwise, that is your damn business. I don't know what it is that she has against. But why didn't I see you doing all of this investigative work with the Dana White situation? Since you're such a big proponent of women's issues... Why didn't you go to your executives and say, listen, I think we need, to, we need to do a segment on this. We need to do a piece on this because I'm so appalled that he did this. But whenever you have an opportunity to go after black guys, oh, you, you got all the energy in the world. My question is, what, what did black dudes do to you? This is what I want to understand. What did black dudes do to you? I'm trying to figure it out. What do we do to you? Hmm? What do we do to you? What is it? You don't like the way we look? Hmm? You don't like the way we walk? You don't like the way we talk? What is it? What, 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 what do we do to you? And the irony is this. Malika Andrews gets paid a boatload of money to cover a league that is predominantly dominated by black people, black guys. And you make a big fat paycheck. Uh, you make a big fat paycheck on it. She did the same thing with Joe Mazzula. You should have seen it when she was going after Ime Udoka. It's like, yo, who sent you? Who sent you? Who asked you? Who asks you? And of course, there are going to be some black dudes. I know, I know, I know some of you dudes. I know some of you dudes. There's some black dudes that will still see all of this disrespect. And you know what they'll say? But she's still hot. She still look good to me. I've read your comment. They don't care because they ain't got no self-respect anyway. They ain't got no self-respect anyway. They'll date anybody. They'll go after anybody, even if they insulted them. Even if they looking at you like a piece of like an object. So what? I think she has an issue with black and nobody's calling her out for it. And I don't understand why. The energy that she has for, for, for black dudes, I, I just cannot believe it. I don't know what her agenda her, her agenda is. Why would you bring something like that up? On, okay, so Malika, you brought that up and then what? What are we supposed to do with that information? What utility does that information serve? What are we supposed to do with it? What do you think somebody's going to raise up their hand and say, hey, did you hear what Malika just said? Ho, oh, ho, bring him back now. Bring him off the stage. Bring him off the stage. He can't get drafted. So why'd you bring it up? Why can't I find any videos of you going after Dana White and other people? Why can't I find them? Why can't I find But let it be Ime Udoka. Let it be Joe Mazzula. Let it be this kid. You ain't even got no shame. You're going after kids. He's a young guy. What, what, you, don't, you don't even have shame. Now you're going after a, a, a young dude. I don't understand it. For somebody that talks about protecting people, you sure spend a lot of time attacking people. I'm not going to say they look like you because you, pro you probably don't want to identify. You, I'm not, I'm not, that's what I believe. I'm not going to say, but you know what I believe. There are people like that. Yeah, they, they look like you, but they just can't stand the fact that they do. They just can't stand the fact that they do. They cannot stand it. So they do every little switch up, every little flip to look a certain way, sound a certain way. So you don't associate me with these, you know what, over here. We know, we know the cultural dynamics. We know it. We know it. Come on, we know it. We know it. 
to me, I'm not even surprised. It's just that people wanted me to talk about it. But then again, that's Malika Andrews for you. That's Malika Andrews for you. She got all the energy in the world for brother. She got all the energy. I'm still looking for the video of Dana White. I'm still trying to find it. I'm still trying to find the Brett Favre situation where somebody was actually involved in a legal situation. Was Ime Udoka involved in a legal situation? I don't believe so, but you sure had enough energy for him. Your investigative uh, uh, skills were definitely firing on that day. And then you're going to get up there on NBA draft night, a night when people are supposed to be happy, when, 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 uh, when these guys are supposed to be sharing it with their families. Such a beautiful moment for them. They're making it into the NBA. Here come Malika Andrews bringing up some absolutely irrelevant information and then spewing it all over the place and, and, and basically stinking up the place. And I don't know when somebody's going to say something about it. She has a problem with black dudes. And I said it. And a lot of us feel that way. And if you got a whole bunch of people thinking that, thinking that way about you, it must mean something is up with you. Because there are too many instances. Y'all can y'all can be like, oh, I like the way that's y'all. I'm not interested in none of that. If you ain't got no respect for me, and you don't like you don't like me for me, I could give a damn what you look like. Cause self-respect is everything for me.